the biggest opportunity that you have right now to start making some good money is right in front of you. You have exactly what you need to get started. TikTok shop dropshipping right now is the hottest thing that's going on. It is the biggest thing since eBay and Etsy got started. This is just starting and the potential for this is absolutely limitless. There are tons of people that have been making a killing with TikTok shop. And the best thing is, is that if you have one video that starts picking up traction, the others are going to follow. And I'm going to be totally honest with you. Making a video is extremely simple. Just take a look at some of the ones that are already out there. They're super basic. A lot of people are simply just showing a product. They're not even using it. To this day, dropshipping still has a low entry barrier, but it's not the same as it was back when it first started or when it first started gaining popularity. Things have gotten a little bit more complicated, not too much, but there is also a little bit more competition. While TikTok itself has made dropshipping a lot easier and a lot more accessible, to a lot of people, especially when it comes to marketing, there's still a lot of extra steps that need to be done by the viewer, which at the end of the day, some don't want to do that. So it deters them from actually making a purchase. With TikTok shop, your viewers have the option to make the purchase right then and there simply by clicking the little orange box on the bottom left. Now, some videos teach you how to get started and that's pretty much it. They simply just put you on the marketplace and do your own thing, figure it out. Not this video. Today, we're going to cover absolutely everything that you need to know in order to get started and even how to make your first sale. In this video, we are leaving no stone unturned everything that you need is going to be covered today Let's move. Let's go. now to make this whole process a lot easier for you i put together an easy to reference cheat sheet on there i'm going to have absolutely everything that i'm covering in this video so that way it can be broken down for you a little bit further so that way it's a bit easier to understand and if you want access to that all you have to do is go ahead and comment down below the hashtag TikTok shop. And let me know what your takeaway is from this video. Now, before we get started, there's three applications that we're going to be using for this whole process. The first one is going to be, of course, AutoDS. The second one is going to be Shopify. The third is going to be Aftership. Oh, and I guess there's a fourth, TikTok. Now, to understand how everything is going to work together, the first thing that we need to do is understand how dropshipping works. So how does dropshipping work? Well, to put it simply, dropshipping is a fulfillment business model. Pretty much somebody's going to come to your store. In this case, it's going to be TikTok shop and then they're going to place an order. Then you're going to take that order and you're going to reroute it to your supplier. Your supplier is going to go ahead and ship that item out. They're going to fulfill the order and they're going to give you a tracking number. That tracking number, you're then going to go ahead and update the TikTok shop with. And the TikTok shop is going to give that to your customer. Then after that, you're pretty much done. You sold an item for, let's say, $120. Let's say it was a pair of shoes and you source those shoes for $60. The remaining $60 that's going to be your profit. So as you can see, you're rerouting that order to have it fulfilled. You're not doing the actual fulfillment yourself. Now, where do these different apps play into this? Well, simply put, Shopify is going to be our website. In this case, we don't really need to do much to the Shopify website. We don't need to customize it. It doesn't need to be user friendly. Honestly, our customers are never going to go to our Shopify website when we're drop shipping on TikTok shop. Everything's going to be done through the TikTok app on your customer's end. Then we have AutoDS. Now, AutoDS is going to be what really makes the entire automation work. In this case, what AutoDS is going to be doing is fulfilling the orders for you. So instead of you having to go ahead and take that order, go to your supplier, log in, place that order with your supplier, and then have them fulfill it, give you the tracking number, and then just go through that entire process, AutoDS is going to automate this entire thing for you. So that way you don't have to do anything. You don't even have to look at the order. You don't even have to know that an order came in. AutoDS is going to take care of the entire order fulfillment for you. Now, one very quick and important note about this is in order to have automation set up and working properly, you are going to need to be living in the United States. So for this, there are going to be a couple of prerequisites. For one, you are going to have to live in the US and two, you are also going to have to have a US bank account. Now, the next app is Aftership. So where does Aftership play into all of this? So the Aftership app is actually going to be what makes that connection between TikTok shop and your Shopify store. Without Aftership, there's not going to be any connection between TikTok and Shopify. So you're not going to be able to automate or dropship on there and enjoy the benefits of automation or just dropshipping overall. Now, there is another app, which is a TikTok seller shop app, but we're staying away from that. That application everyone's been using and honestly, it doesn't work. TikTok made it extremely buggy. They haven't fixed it. It doesn't work for absolutely anybody and products don't synchronize. And then of course we have TikTok. Now TikTok is pretty much going to be our front door. That's where your customers are going to walk into your front door and they're going to look at your products and they're going to make a purchase. So to sum it up for you and try to make it as simple as possible, Shopify is going to connect to AutoDS as well as Aftership. When somebody places an order in your TikTok shop, Aftership is going to take that order and reroute it to Shopify. Shopify is then going to connect to AutoDS and AutoDS is going to automate that order for you 
and it's going to be fulfilled. Then once that fulfillment is done and the tracking number is provided by your supplier, in which case we're going to be using Amazon because of their quick shipping. That information is then going to be transmitted back to Aftership. And then Aftership is going to transmit that information back to TikTok Shop, informing your customer that their order has been shipped. Okay, so to start, the first thing that we need to do is we need to get our Shopify store set up. Now, this isn't necessarily the most crucial part, but this is where all of our orders are going to be rerouted through. So that way we can efficiently drop ship our products on TikTok. Since we're not going to be sending people to that website, so not a lot of people are going to be even going there in the first place, we're going to go ahead and cheat on how we make it. And for this, what we're going to do is use AI, actually. So we're going to use AI to build our entire Shopify store for us. So right now I'm over at autodias.com. If you don't have an account yet, then you can try the trial period for $1 for two weeks. So up here, you're actually going to have the option to add a store. I don't have that option because I already have it connected. So you're going to click on add a store. As you can see for me, it's down here. So I'm going to click add a store here and we're going to go through Shopify store build with AI. Then here it's going to give you three different options. Just go with the default one, the one in the middle, pre-built store with AI. Go ahead and continue and now you're going to choose your niche so which niche do you want to get into what types of products do you want to sell now the cool part about this is whichever one of these niches you choose the store is going to be built for you with products already in it and those products are going to be winning products from our marketplace and our winning product section so these are proven best sellers now personally i always go with pets simply because i have a dog and i can order a couple samples of certain items and make my own videos. So let's go ahead and choose pets and our store is being built for us. That's pretty much it. It just took a few seconds. And then we got our login for our store. You're also gonna get an email with these credentials. So just make sure you save everything. All right, now the next thing we need to do is go ahead and click down here where it says open Shopify store plans. Now what we need to do is actually start our Shopify store. So we're gonna have to select the plan. Okay, so it's gonna take us to this website over here, which is where we're gonna log in with our credentials that we were just given. And this is the page that we're gonna be taken to. So we're gonna go directly to choose a plan. We can't continue unless we do this, but don't worry, this is only gonna cost one dollar at least for the first month after that it will be 39 dollars per month but by that time honestly don't even worry about it the money you're going to be making from these videos and from these products you're going to be drop shipping on tiktok shop it's going to more than cover all of this but to get started the easiest way to do this and my suggestion is simply go with the monthly plan once you do start to get more sales then you can upgrade to the yearly so let's go do monthly come from the billing cycle and just go through everything fill everything out all right once we have everything filled out then let's just go ahead and subscribe all right next shopify being shopify they're going to try to upsell us we can go ahead and skip this we don't need pos this is optional right now honestly and that's connected domain so this is the store that we have this is the store that was automatically built for us these are the products that were automatically added so these are all as you can tell in the pets niche everything here is handpicked by professional drop shippers and all of these products are based off of years of data so these are all currently proven best sellers and all currently trending there is market demand for all of these products so we even have our different pages like our terms of service our privacy policy shipping policy everything was done for us automatically now after our store is created with ai then we're already going to have one of the necessary apps that we need connected already on there and it's already going to be installed and working and that's going to be the auto ds app the auto ds app is essential because that's going to be what actually makes the entire automation part happen without the auto ds drop shipping automation app then none of this is going to work so remember that's going to be two apps that we need that's going to be the auto ds app which again is already going to be installed and the one that we're going to be installing after ship for tiktok shop all right so we have set up our shopify account and we have set up our auto ds account the next thing we need to do is set up our tiktok shop account now for this what we're going to do is i've been having a lot of issues on my separate accounts so i'm going incognito and we're going to go to seller.tiktok.com now you're going to choose the region that you're selling in for me i'm in north america so i'm going to choose united states and then it's going to ask us to log in now we don't have an account yet so let's go to sign up now now you do have the option to sign up and log in using your tiktok account i don't recommend that i've had a lot of problems especially with multiple accounts. So I have a lot of different TikTok accounts and I have a few different seller accounts on TikTok. When I log in through my TikTok account, there's always an issue. Sometimes it'll log me in and it'll log me in as a different account, even though I'm signed into my TikTok account as a completely different one. And it's just been a mess. Now, this is where you need to select what type of business you are. Are you going to be an individual, a sole proprietorship, a corporation or a partnership? Now, the majority of us are going to fall under individual or sole proprietorship. Sole proprietorship is if you actually have a business or a company that you're working under. So if you have your own LLC and it's just you, then you can go under sole proprietorship. But for the vast majority of us, we're gonna fall under individual. So that's what I'm gonna go with. Now this is where things can get a little bit complicated, but not really. So a lot of people have been reporting getting denied when they submit their IDs, but there's a way around this, just reapply. And then if that happens again, if you get denied, reapply again. And if you get denied again, reapply. Eventually you're gonna get accepted. Every single person I have spoken to, myself included, has been denied a few different times, at least at the beginning. But after a few different tries, maybe taking a different picture of the ID, rescanning it and resubmitting it, 
it gets approved. So just keep trying. Now, once we sign up using our documents, whether it be our ID or our passport, then it's going to ask us for a shop information. So what's our shop name? Now, I'm going to go with Cozy Paws. Now, one quick thing that you do need to know is I'm also creating a brand new TikTok account for this. The reason for this is because I want to start from scratch. I want to be able to target a specific demographic of people, that being people with pets primarily cats and dogs, probably leaning more towards dogs simply because I have a dog. So it makes it easier for me to make these types of videos. My primary product, pet supplies and our phone number. Oh, Cozy Paws has already been taken. So let's do Cozy Paws. I don't know. 24 for 2024. Then we just have to submit our information and confirm everything. Now, while we're waiting, let's go ahead and go through some of these different options, some of the different tabs and what we're supposed to start doing. So the first thing we need to do after we get set up is add our tax information. All we need to do for this is just go and click and get started. And here you're going to submit all of the information that you need, everything that has to do with your taxes. This is extremely important. If you don't do this, you're not going to be able to sell. Then once we have everything filled out, all we have to do is once again, go ahead and submit and that's it. So the next step is done. And as you can see where it says register your business before it was pending, now it's a green check mark. So we're ready to start selling. Now we need to set up our shipping. So this is something that's extremely important. So let's click on get started here. And this is going to take us to our ship from address. So this is the address that we're going to put where our products are going to be shipping from shipping from, right? Because we're drop shippers. They're shipping from all over the world. So just go ahead and fill that out with your address and your information and then submit it. Once that's done, it's going to take us over here. Shipping information added. It's going to tell us that we're actually already subscribed for USPS, but not UPS or FedEx, which is totally fine. So let's quickly elaborate on the ship from address. What this is really is just where your product is going to be shipping from. Of course, your products are going to be shipping from quite a few different places, but this is really just for TikTok to know where your products are going to be shipping from. Now, don't worry if it's not the same as where your products actually are shipping from, because TikTok doesn't really care much about this. They just need an address to be able to show their customers. Look, this is where this item is coming from. Me personally, I have a virtual address that I use. So I have a virtual mailbox that gives me a physical address. And that's the address that I pretty much use for almost anything business related. But if you don't have a virtual mailbox or anything like that, then you can simply just put your home address. Now, the only option we have is to click on go to add products. So let's click on that. But we're going to get out of this. So let's go ahead and click get started. Let's navigate out of all of this stuff. And let's talk about shipping for a second. So what we're going to do is we're going to click on orders. And then from here, we're going to go to shipping options. Now, this is extremely important. Probably one of the most crucial steps in this entire process. By default, you're going to be using TikTok shipping, which means TikTok is going to be providing you their shipping labels. So that way you can just print out your label and ship out your product. We cannot do this. This is not what we're going to be doing. What we need to do is switch it over to seller shipping. This is where we can provide our own tracking numbers. So let's go ahead and select that. And you haven't created a template. Okay, I'm sorry. We need to create a template first and then we can switch over. But at least now you know the difference. So let's create a template first. Okay, so it took a little bit to, for me to figure this out, but all I had to do was refresh the page for some reason. And I clicked back on orders. And now under the shipping options, I have shipping templates. So we're going to click on that. And then we're going to create one. So we're going to create up here on the top right, create a new template. Now our template name, I'm just going to put general and ship from, we're going to choose our ship from address, which is the one that we set up earlier. Now our rate model is going to be either weight based or quantity based. So are we going to charge based off of the weight of our product or are we going to charge based off of how many are ordered? Well, what I'm going to be doing is simply just offering free shipping. So the cost is going to be added to the product itself. So really it's not going to matter what we go with. So I'm just going to choose quantity based. I'm going to choose standard shipping. I'm not going to go with express. I like sticking to standard. Now, as for our flat rate, I'm going to put zero, but remember, we're going to add our shipping cost to our final product price. So that's at $0. Now under delivery region, let's go ahead and click on edit and I'm going to select all. So I'm going to be shipping throughout the entire US, except Hawaii and Alaska. And the reason for this is because it just takes a lot for products to get over there. It takes a long time. It takes a lot more money. And ultimately customers, whenever I ship to Hawaii, cause I've never shipped to Alaska, they get impatient sometimes. So I've just chosen to not ship to Hawaii and Alaska by default, just leave it off and let's click on submit. Now we can go back to shipping options and we can switch over to seller shipping and we can officially use our own shipping labels now. All right. So now that we have our shipping set up, let's go through some of these other tabs. We're not going to go through everything, but we are going to go through what's important. So we already went through our shipping options and our shipping templates. Now let's check out our manage order section here. Obviously it's empty, but this is where we're going to see all of our orders manage returns, pretty much the same thing, except for when a customer requests a return. Now we have our fulfillment settings, which is actually where we can change a few different things when when it comes to our fulfillment. So our order handling time, typically TikTok likes things shipped out within three days. You can change that here, but 
I highly suggest you don't. I suggest you leave it because this is optimized for TikTok and this is what they prefer. They don't want people shipping their items more than three days after. You also get a few more options here when it comes to cancellation with your auto approval or your refund without returning an item. So if somebody wants to return an item, you don't necessarily have to collect that item from them to give them a refund. Then we have our products tab. Here you have everything when it comes to the products we're going to sell. Then we have our product ratings. Whenever we get one of our products rated, somebody leaves a review. This is where we're going to see it. Okay, so let's go to the marketing tabs now. So here we have shop ads. This is where you're going to be able to create ads for your products. I don't really think that's necessary. When it comes to TikTok, you can run ads if you want, but honestly, the best way to do this is going to be organically. It's super simple to go viral on TikTok. You just have to make a couple different videos. Try switching up the style. I'll show you guys later on a small example, but for now, just know that paying for ads isn't really necessary on TikTok. Also, if you have one of your products attached to your videos, so if you have that little orange product link, TikTok is naturally going to give you a nice little organic boost. So they like to give priority to people's videos that have products attached to them. But you need to make sure that your products are relevant to the video or that they're being shown in the video. If your video has nothing to do with the product that's attached to it, then that product is going to be taken off and you're going to be assigned violation points. Now, TikTok runs on a health score. The more points you have, the worse your health score is going to be. All right, next up, we have TikTok funded promotions. Now, these are extremely important. TikTok funded promotions are promotions that TikTok runs that comes out of their pocket, not yours. So when you make a sale and there's a promotion attached to it, a TikTok funded promotion, such as their free shipping, then you're going to see that that's actually taken out of your profit. But don't worry about that. TikTok is actually supposed to give you that money back through your payouts or through the invoices. Same thing goes for the product coupons. So a lot of times you're going to see that some items actually have 20 to maybe even 40% off. That's all being covered through TikTok. So if you see these discounts on your products and you didn't authorize them, don't worry about it. Just go along with it. Then we have affiliates. Now this is extremely important and this is probably one of your biggest money makers. TikTok makes it super easy to get started with affiliate marketing. Of course, TikTok is full of affiliates already and a lot of these affiliates are looking for products to promote. What products are they looking for? Your products. Now, the way that TikTok makes this so simple is all you have to do is click on get started and set up your profile. From there, you can choose different influencers or different affiliates to work with, and you can set your commission rate. Best thing is, is that TikTok makes this even simpler by automating the entire payout for them. So when they get you sales, TikTok is going to separate their commission and TikTok's going to pay them. You don't have to worry about paying them. TikTok's going to do everything for you. See how easy this is? You know how you always see people on TikTok on live and they're talking about their products and they have a link to make a purchase for their products through their TikTok shop? Well, this is what they're doing. They're going live and they're promoting their products. This is another thing that TikTok pushes out a lot. We have growth, which has some incentives and it teaches you a few different ways to sell and market your products. This is just not really that important, but we have analytics. Now, the analytics here are actually extremely important and this is what's really going to tell you which videos are actually bringing customers in, which videos are the ones that that your customers are clicking on to take a look at your products. So using this information, having access to this kind of information is extremely helpful because it can tell you what type of video you need to focus on and which types of videos you should stop focusing on. So if you have a particular type of video, let's say an unboxing where you show how you unbox a product and what's inside, if it starts to do very well, then you can start making some more. If you have another one where you're simply showing the product or maybe you're wearing a t-shirt or something like that and you notice that it doesn't have a high click-through rate, people aren't necessarily clicking on it to take a look at your product, then there's really no point in continuing that kind of video. So these analytics can tell you whether or not to keep going with a particular marketing strategy. And on here, this is actually the last thing that I want to show you on the actual seller center. And this is the shop health. Remember how I told you that TikTok shop works on a account health basis? So if you get violations, if you do things that you're not supposed to, if you ship out items late, if your items sometimes arrive late, unfortunately, because TikTok really likes things to arrive on time. If you get copyright strikes on your videos, if your videos are taken down for whatever reason, for any policy violation, you will be assigned violation points. And those points will add up in your violation score. So here you can see that at zero, you're at excellent. This is really where you want to stay. You want to stay in the green. You don't want to cross over to the orange and you definitely don't want to cross over to the red. I understand that every once in a while you are going to get some violation points. It's going to happen, especially as you're learning the platform. But just remember this, when you do something that you're not supposed to do and you get violation points, don't do it again. This is extremely important because if you keep doing what you're not supposed to, you're going to get shut down. So let's talk about a very important part of this entire thing that I'm sure everyone's been wondering about, and that's payouts. Well, simply put, TikTok is going to wait until your customer receives their item. After a while, you can start to build some reputation. You start to get good reviews. TikTok starts to realize that you're actually fulfilling orders on time and the way that you need to, in which case 
then you're going to be eligible to be able to get payouts a little bit quicker. So at the beginning, try to save up a couple of bucks just so you can have just in case you start getting an influx of orders. Let's just go ahead and go up here. Let's type in Aftership. If it shows you that there's no results, just go ahead and click on the Aftership in the Shopify App Store. Then it'll take you to the App Store where we'll find the app. So once you look up the Aftership app, you're going to find a ton of different ones. But the one that we're looking for is this one right here, Aftership feed for TikTok shop. So let's go ahead and click on that and let's go ahead and install. All right. So after installing the app, we got this connect your TikTok shop store. We're going to click on connect then United States because that's where we're located. All right. So then it's going to ask us for a duration as to how long it's going to be connected for. So how long do we want to keep our TikTok shop connected to our Shopify store? If we choose 30 days, then in 30 days, that connection is going to be cut. And then after ship and your TikTok shop will be disconnected. So they suggest one year and that's what I'm going to go for because that's their suggestion. You can go for unlimited, but I'm just going to choose a year and then a year from now, we'll just go ahead and renew it for another year. All right, let's authorize everything. Scroll all the way down, click on authorize, and that's it. We have Aftership installed. Now what Aftership is going to do is it's actually going to make it easier for us to synchronize our TikTok shop with our Shopify store. The TikTok app is kind of wonky. It's not really the best. I started having a lot of issues synchronizing my products with the Shopify TikTok shop app, and I know a lot of people that have had that same issue as well. So Aftership is a nice way around it. All right, so now it's asking you about products and auto link products. So automatically link products with the same SKU so orders can be fulfilled on your e-commerce platform. What this means is that the product that's going to be on your Shopify store has to have the same SKU number as the one on your TikTok shop. When that happens, both of them are going to be linked and that's how it's going to synchronize everything. That's how it's going to synchronize your orders and how it's going to fulfill your orders. Okay, so let's continue. Let's go ahead and get started. It's going to give us a tour of everything. We can just go ahead and either read everything if you want to learn about it or just poke around, which this is the way I learn. Just go ahead and poke around. So looking around TikTok, I found two different products that seem to be making some pretty big waves. One of them is a ball that you simply squish and it pops up. And the other one is a giant tennis ball. Now, how I came across these products was simply by going on TikTok and searching up the hashtag TikTok made me buy it and then simply writing dogs. So this gave me all of the most trending items in the dog niche. So with that, I came across these two different products. So with the first one, the spring ball, the reason I chose that one is because it has both a wow factor and it does provide value. Now, the way I see it is it's actually getting a lot of hate online. A lot of people don't like it. It's not being marketed or used the right way. I'm going to market it as one, a dog training toy, which provides the value of helping train your dog and teaching them patience. And the reason I chose the second one, the big tennis ball, the value that it provides is the fact that it's almost unbreakable. Now this can really vary. It can be unbreakable and it can't be unbreakable. It really depends on the dog. But for my dog, he actually can't put his mouth around the entire thing. So because of that, he can't break it. Now it's important to know why we're using Amazon as our supplier. The reason for this is because simply we need their fast shipping speeds. TikTok needs you to ship their items within three days at the most. And there's really not many other suppliers that can do this aside from a few others like Walmart, maybe Costco, but really the best and most reliable supplier that we can go with that has the fast shipping speeds is going to be at the end of the day, hands down Amazon. So what we need to do now is we need to import these products to our store and we need to synchronize them with Aftership. Now, how are we going to do this? We have AutoDS, remember. So what we're going to do is we're going to head over to AutoDS.com. We're going to log in and we're going to choose our store. Then I'm going to go ahead and click on add product, multiple products. I'm going to take this link over here, paste it. Then I'm going to take the one from the tennis ball and paste it as well. And then just go ahead and add his draft. And let's run over to our draft section over here. And we can see both the tennis ball and the little bouncy UFO ball thing. Click on this one, click to edit. Let's shorten the name. I'm just going to do this. I'm just going to give it something simple. UFO dog ball. Then under the description, we're not really going to touch that right now. I'm going to leave it as is. The variations, however, I am going to get into. And on Amazon, I saw that it was selling for about $13. I think I got it for $13 or $14. So I'm going to up the price a little bit more than that. I'm going to put it at $17.99 or $19.99. Actually, you know what? Let's do it for $24.99. Then the images, these are all good. All right, so everything looks good to go. Now let's just go ahead and save an import. Now let's do the same thing for the jumble dog ball. So I'm going to be only selling the 9.5 inch. Actually, you know what? Let's just change it. Let's go giant tennis ball for dogs. Nine inches. All right, so these I said I'm only going to be offering the nine inch. Let's get rid of these two variations. Then I'm going to click on edit, change this price to $26.99. So just a couple bucks more. The images are good, except for the eight inch and the seven inch, because again, we're not going to be selling those. So let's delete those. Oh, that's the main image. Okay. So let's actually make this one the main image. And now we can delete these. All right, save and import. Now let's go to our store. Let's go under products. You scroll down, you can see that the UFO ball 
already uploaded. Now, remember how I said that in order to be able to synchronize your TikTok shop with your Shopify, you're going to have to have the same SKU number for the products on both uploads. Well, this is how you do it. So let's go ahead and click on all of these. Click on bulk edit up here where it shows columns. Let's click on that. And you see here where it says inventory and SKU. Make sure that's checked. And then if you look over here, you can see the SKU. So these are the different SKU numbers for the different variations. Now we need to do this on our TikTok shop. So let's run over to our TikTok shop. Let's go to products. Let's go to add a new product. And this is going to be the UFO dog ball. The category should be automatically updated. If not, you can just go ahead and search for it. There you go, dog toys. Now it's going to ask you for a brand. So here you can click on it and you don't necessarily have to have a brand. If you want to add your own brand, you can, you can put that down here, but if you don't want to put a brand, then up here where it says select the brand, just go ahead and type in no brand. Now these are some attributes to the product itself. So the type of toy dog flying disc, this is actually perfect right there. Material. I wasn't too sure about that, but it doesn't really matter. You don't have to put these in here. Now the media. So what we need to do is we need to upload our pictures. I do have the items on the way. I'm going to be getting them tomorrow. I could take pictures myself, but I want to upload this now so that way we can get it ready. So to get the images, actually what I'm doing is I'm heading over to my product over at AutoDS again. Under the images tab, you can go ahead and download the actual picture. So there we have that one. I'm going to do this one as well. Let's go back to our TikTok shop, upload, and there we go. Now as for the main image, I actually want to have this one. All right, now for our description, I simply just went to AutoDS and I used the AI rewrite tool. The AI rewrite tool can be used on both the title as well as the description. But me personally, I typically use it more than anything for the description because it's a lot longer. And then I'll take a sample of that and I'll use that as the title itself. Now, the AI rewrite tool is great because it lets you rewrite your descriptions and your titles directly on the AutoDS platform. All done for you, of course with AI. So on this page, we really don't have to do too much. Honestly, when it comes to the seller side on TikTok, we're really not going to be doing much else on here other than uploading products. So on the TikTok seller app, the only reason that we're uploading products here is so that way we can synchronize them using the SKU to our products on Shopify. Because remember, we're going to have to upload them twice. One to Shopify and one to TikTok shop. And then we're going to have the same SKU number on both, which is going to be what links them together through Aftership. Now, quick note, anything that you update on AutoDS is ultimately going to override whatever you write on the TikTok seller app. So let's say you put a particular name to your products on the TikTok seller app, but then you don't change it on AutoDS and you just leave the default name. Once you save and you upload your product, then that is going to override whatever you have on your TikTok seller app. Then the name that you have on AutoDS whether that be the default name or not, is going to override the title that you have for your product on the TikTok seller app. Now, variations. Here we can choose the different variations for our products. Sometimes you might not have every image that you want to use. So let's say there's a variation for a purple ball, but you don't have that picture. You're going to be required here to upload a picture for each variation. If this right here, this add image checkbox is checked off. If you uncheck it, then you're not required to link an image to each variation. Now the variation name, let's go with color. We have red, pink, blue, and green. So red, pink, blue, green. So I actually did this a little bit quicker than most because I figured out that after each variation, you hit tab and it'll create a new variation, but you have to give it something about of half a second to a second. So that way it thinks about what it's going to do. It makes the second variation. And then right after that half second, you can hit shift tab and it'll go back up. So it's kind of complicated. It's kind of weird, but it's pretty quick as you saw, but if that doesn't work for you, then just go ahead and click on each one individually. It's fine. Now, remember we need to add our SKUs. So let's go ahead and run back over to our variations on Shopify. I'm going to copy this one, which is the red under red. I'm going to paste it here. So red starts with the E pink with O E 51 blue green is EC. 51 blue, green as you see. All right, perfect. So this is what's going to synchronize after ship with our TikTok shop. Remember, this is an extremely crucial step. Now we said we're going to be selling these for $24.99. Instead of doing this all together, we could just go ahead and batch edit. Retail price, $24.99. Quantity, I'm just going to put at five. Let's apply. It's going to apply it to everything. Now the shipping weight. Remember, we're going to be shipping these ourselves. Well, not necessarily shipping them ourselves, but providing the tracking numbers. And what this is going to do is really just give us an estimate as to how much it's going to cost us. But it doesn't really matter. As for this, let's go ahead and put, I don't know, half a pound product dimensions. It'll probably be something along the lines of 10 by 10 by, I don't know, five. Again, it doesn't really matter because at the end of the day, we're going to be giving free shipping. Now we're done. Let's go ahead and submit for review. Now let's add one more product and we're going to add our tennis ball. And once again, I used the AI rewrite tool for this description. Now I did like this right here, the mega fetch Titan. So I'm going to take that nine inch tennis ball. It is not for actual tennis. It's actually a dog toy brand. Once again, we're going to go with no brand. I want to have the pup right front and center. And we said this one's selling for $26.99. Now let's check out the SKU number.
Now this one is going to be pretty big, so this is probably going to be maybe 10 inches by 10 inches by 10 inches, because the ball itself is 9 inches. So taking into consideration the box, about right. Let's go to manage listings and let's see if they are active. Missing brand authorization. Okay, so let's try something else. Okay, so what I'm going to do is for some reason it's not taking no brand. So I'm just going to add my own brand and let's update it and see if it gets approved this time. So that means the other one. Actually, no, the tennis ball actually went through for some odd reason. This kind of just goes to show you that if one thing doesn't work, just kind of poke around, see what you can change, because this is how you're going to be able to get through certain problems that you might not necessarily know the answer to or immediately find it out by simply Googling it or looking it up on a video. Remember, a lot of these cases are case by case scenarios. What happens in my store might not necessarily happen in yours and vice versa. So if there's anything that you come across and you actually figure out how to get around it, then let me know down in the comments below what it is. So that way you can help me out and anybody else that could potentially face that same issue. Okay, so a few minutes passed and you can see that now my squish and bounce is officially active. Yes, so we got two products that are currently synchronized. All right, so now what we're gonna do is let's run back over to Aftership. All right, now let's go to product syncing. There's also this other tab called product on TikTok shop. And here it's actually showing that the state of both of them is already live and it's showing the SKU number as well. So to clear things up, what we just did was we uploaded our products through AutoDS to our Shopify store. From there, we went to each product and we took the SKU number. That SKU number, we then copied over to the product that we also uploaded on our TikTok shop and we matched the SKU number to that one. That process synchronized both products. So now whenever somebody places an order on our TikTok shop, it should be rerouted to our AutoDS account where it's then going to be fulfilled by AutoDS and the order is going to be automatically placed with our supplier. Then once our supplier fulfills the item and ships everything out, they're going to provide the tracking number, which is then going to be updated through the AutoDS account, in turn updating our TikTok account. As you can see, there's a lot of gears turning on here. It is somewhat of a longer process to get set up. Trust me, it's going to be worth it in the end. All right, so we pretty much have everything done. We have our products uploaded, everything synchronized. Now what we need to do is start uploading some videos. We need to optimize our TikTok account and we need to get it up and running. Now for this, we're going to need a little bit of trust, right? We can't just simply create a random TikTok account and expect people to start purchasing from it. We need to have a logo. We need to have a bio. We need to have some videos. As for the videos, that's going to be coming pretty soon. But for now, let's go ahead and run over to Kittle. I'm going to go to Tools, AI Image Generator. Now you can get started here for free and you are going to be limited to certain things. But what you can do is you can create a logo through Kittle for pretty much for free and then just crop it out. So here I'm going to Logo Generator. I'm going to do something simple, a paw print with hearts and toys around it with the text Cozy Paws. Pretty good. I just don't like that text right there. So we can keep this right here. So let's go ahead and download this. Run over to my TikTok account, my new TikTok account. Let's run over to View Profile. Here I got my Cozy Paws. As you can see, everything's brand new. Let's add our Cozy Paws logo. Bio. All right. So what are we going to put for our bio? We got to put something short, but something sweet. So let's do something along the lines of fun, interactive, pet toys, pet products to keep your pets happy and active. Okay, there you go. Now it looks much better. Now it actually looks a bit more legit. Now we have Cozy Paws, Cozy Paws 15, fun and interactive pet products to keep your pets happy and active. All right, so we're pretty much done on getting everything set up. The next thing we need to do now is simply just wait for the products so we can start making some videos. So I guess let's go. Let's just uh, fast forward to tomorrow, shall we? All right, so it's tomorrow night and we have product number one, which is the ball that I had ordered. This one's actually my favorite one. It squishes down and then it pops up. Now I've seen a lot of negative reviews about this saying that it doesn't last that long when it's squished, but that's actually gonna be my selling point. So what people are trying to use this for is to squish it down and use it as a Frisbee. Now there's a suction cup inside this, so it's not gonna hold that long because there's also a big spring in here. So this, I think people are using it wrong to be honest with you, or maybe it's being advertised wrong, I don't know. But the way that we're gonna market this is as a spring toy where it pops. And the other one is gonna be the Big ass tennis ball. Now, I think that's just what I want to name it. Big ass tennis ball. So I got both of these in today and we're going to actually start making videos tomorrow. Right now, what we need to do is actually start making our account into a business account. OK, so right now we're going to go ahead and link our official TikTok account. So this is going to be the TikTok account that people are going to be able to go to 
to actually make a purchase. This is going to be the TikTok account that has our store. So what we're going to do is up here, we're going to click on our name, then we're going to hit my account and linked accounts. Then you're going to see the linked TikTok accounts. So you have the official account, which is the one where you make your sales. And you also have marketing accounts. Now, marketing accounts is something that you can unlock later on, but these accounts are extremely helpful because if you have multiple accounts, you can link those and create content on those other accounts as well. Now, these marketing accounts are completely different than affiliate accounts in terms of you're not going to have to pay any commissions since these are going to be your accounts or anybody who you authorize. These are going to be accounts that are specific to market your products. So these accounts are going to have access to link your products to the videos. But again, that's something that you're going to unlock later on. You need to build some reputation. You need to get some sales and you need to get your items shipped out on time. So for now, let's go to official account, click on linked official account. And now we're going to have to scan this QR code. So for that, let's pull out our phone. And right now what I'm going to show you is what I've been doing with our TikTok account. If we click on over to our profile, we're going to see that I changed a few things around. I made it a bit more personal and I'm actually basing it around my dog. Now I am going to be blurring out the username simply because I don't want any traffic that's irrelevant going to that account. If I have people that are watching this channel and they go to the account and they're not necessarily interested in dogs, then that's going to throw off the algorithm and we don't want that for that reason i'm going to have this stuff blurred out for now later on in a future video then i'll give you a bit more information and where you can actually find the account but until then make sure you hit that subscribe button so you don't miss out now taking a look at what i've been doing you can see that it is now geared more towards my dog and it's because we're going to be focused on the dog niche i uploaded a couple different videos the first one that i uploaded was this one introducing my dog he loves bacon sit and this is how it goes. He loves bacon. Sit. Good boy. Paw. Stay. 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 Good boy. So as you can see, there's a little bit of fun, quirky music in the background. The video itself is meant to be a little bit quirky as well, with my dog kind of just listening to what I'm saying and kind of being off at the end. So I did a few more videos. TikTok is pushing a lot of pictures, so I did one of those as well. I did one of just my dog sleeping and voiceover of something cute there. And this one, which is actually my favorite as well. Just clips. These do very well. Look at the interactions. It's not an insane amount, but for a brand new account that we opened yesterday, the first one has 604 views and the rest are just under 600. So while it's not absolute virality just yet, it's not bad. And as you can see, there's also already 11 followers and the whole account has 255 likes all in just one day. So this is something that's going to take a little bit of time to build, but trust me, it's going to be worth it. There's already traction going on. So you just got to keep the momentum. Make sure that you choose your niche and you stick to that niche. Don't go off topic, don't go off niche because that's gonna throw off the algorithm. So anyway, enough of that, let's go ahead and link our account. So we're gonna click the three little bars on the top right. I think that's called the sandwich menu. Then we're gonna go to my QR code. Now on the top right, you have this little square button which brings up our camera. Let's go ahead and scan the QR code. Now let's authorize it and we're done. That's all there's to it. So looking at the screen, we have link an official TikTok account. All right, so close that. This needs to be a business account. So right now it's probably gonna ask us to do the entire conversion. So let's see what it does. All right, so let's check our notifications. TikTok shop, please complete identi identity verification. So you need to complete the actual verification on your phone as well. So let's do that. This is something that I've had to do with all of my other ones as well. So let's just go ahead and continue through there. So identity verification successful. We can now sell products in our TikTok shop. All right, we're good to go. Now, remember, we also have the cheat sheet with everything that I covered in today's video. To get access to that, to make this whole process a lot easier for you, just make sure to comment down below the hashtag TikTok shop and let me know what your takeaway is from the video. Now, I didn't show it because my screen recorder for some reason stopped working, but for the verification, really all I had to do was verify my name and upload my ID once more. Except this time, instead of uploading it to my seller account on seller.tiktok.com, I uploaded this directly to my TikTok account. Now, the reason we're doing all of this and the reason we're connecting our TikTok account to our seller account is because we need to have an official TikTok account. That official TikTok account that's connected to your seller account is going to be the account that people go to on the TikTok app to make a purchase. Remember, the TikTok shop is only available through the TikTok app through the videos. So there's absolutely no website that customers can go to to the TikTok shop to make a purchase from your store. It all has to be done through the app, through your videos. All right, so I refresh the page and now we have the little shop icon. Let's click on that. And we can see here that we have both our products uploaded and 
they're ready to sell. All right, so it's been a few days, and as you can tell, I even cut my hair. But check this out, we made a sale. What happens next? Well, let's check it out through the AutoDS dashboard, shall we? All right, so right now we're logged into our AutoDS account. Let's just go ahead and run over to our order section. Click on that. There we have our first order. It finally came through. Now we just need to keep pumping out more and more content to keep getting more orders. We have to see what works and keep trying to replicate that. So this item was sourced from Amazon. It's being sold through my Shopify store, but remember the Shopify store doesn't really matter. It actually, nobody even has access to that because it's password protected. Everything's growing through my TikTok account. So the order was placed through the TikTok account. Somebody placed the order through the video that they saw. Then TikTok shop connected to Aftership. Aftership connected to Shopify and Shopify connected to AutoDS. So in that little chain, the order traveled all the way from our TikTok account to our AutoDS account. Now, from here, it's gonna get automatically rerouted to our supplier over at Amazon. And then Amazon is gonna go ahead and fulfill that order, give us our tracking number. AutoDS is gonna populate that through Aftership. Aftership is gonna update TikTok with that and we're done. Now, how are we paying for this order? For this, this is extremely important. We need to use Fulfilled by AutoDS. This is the best and the most efficient way to do this. Now, why is that? Simply put, if you're using Fulfilled by AutoDS, you're not using your own Amazon account. So you have no risk of blocking your accounts. Now, AutoDS has tons of different buyer accounts for Amazon. So it's gonna be using all of these different accounts to source your different products. Now, the only thing that we need to do is we need to make sure that we keep a balance up here. So as you can see, I have a balance right now of about $16. After this order goes through, I am gonna have to top it off because as we can see, we're purchasing it for $8.99. It's being sold for $14.99. I'm gonna have to top it off because I'm not gonna have enough to sell another one of these. But we're making a profit right now of $4.80. Now you don't have to use Fulfilled by AutoDS, but honestly, I highly recommend you do because if Amazon notices that you're shipping to a bunch of different addresses, your account could potentially be restricted and you don't want to deal with that, especially if you have tons of orders coming in. If you use Fulfilled by AutoDS, you don't have to worry about that at all because AutoDS has a bunch of different Amazon buying accounts, so you're never going to run into that problem. If you use Fulfilled by AutoDS, you're also going to have everything automated, so you're not going to have to do anything. Everything is going to be automatically rerouted to our suppliers over at Amazon. Then from there, the fulfillment is gonna be done through them and they're just gonna update the platform with the tracking number. Again, we don't have to do anything. So as you can see, we have our first order here. It was actually placed today at about 11.46 my time. All right, let's quickly go over fees. Of course, just like any other company or like any other marketplace, in order to make money, TikTok shop needs to charge fees on every transaction fee. So up until the end of last year, up until the end of 2023, from my understanding, it was at 2%. So they would charge you 2% of each sale. TikTok came out saying that this is gonna increase. It's not always gonna be 2%. They're pretty much using this as a way to bring in more sellers onto the platform and incentivize them with these lower fees. Now, from my understanding, from what they came out saying is they started off at 2%, they're going up to 4%. And then by the end of this year, they're going to be at 8%. So if you want to take fees into consideration, my suggestion is just start on the high end. Start with 8% right now. So that way later on, you don't have to readjust your prices or figure out fees yet again. Now, look at this channel, Aftership Feed for TikTok Shop. That's where the item was purchased from. So the item was purchased through the TikTok shop and then that's rerouted to Aftership, which then Aftership does everything that we need it to do. It connects all of our platforms together. Status is paid, it's unfulfilled. So right now this is currently waiting on AutoDS to make that order and have it fulfilled. Now to make sure this happens and the order is rerouted correctly, then we need to make sure that fulfilled by AutoDS is activated on our account. And this is how we do it. So for this, we're gonna have to run over to our settings. And then once we're under settings, we have to go ahead and select our store. My store is already selected here. So we're using Amazon for this because we need the fast shipping. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna click on Amazon. And then on these top tabs, we're gonna click on orders. Now under orders, we have to make sure that we have process orders using the fulfilled by AutoDS service. This is absolutely crucial for AutoDS to be able to fulfill your orders using their buyer accounts. Now this second one, automatic orders, this is optional. Some people like to have it on, some people like to have it off. Personally, I keep it on. I know other people that keep it off. So if we have it off, the order is going to come on here and it's going to stay as pending. Then it's going to be up to you to send it to auto order. So you're going to have to switch it over here to send it to auto order. And then AutoDS is going to start the process of placing that order for you. Now, if we have both of these checked on, then instead of you having to manually switch it to send to auto order, it's going to be done automatically. Now, while we're on this page, another thing that's worth noting is tracking conversions. So TikTok shop lets you use quite the variety of tracking numbers. And that's why we're going with Amazon because they actually accept Amazon tracking numbers. Now, AutoDS has this feature where it will convert your Amazon tracking number 
when you're using Amazon as your supplier to a Blue Care Express tracking number. Now, unfortunately, TikTok Shop does not support Blue Care Express, but there's a simple fix for this. So once we decide whether or not we want to keep our automatic orders on or off, then we're simply going to go down a little bit and look here where it shows tracking conversion. Then here by default, it's going to automatically convert your tracking numbers to Blue Care Express. We need to turn this off. So just go ahead and click on this and simply click on disabled and that's it. Make sure you save before you back out and we're good to go. Now let's look over on our TikTok shop. Here we can see our first item and we have the same thing. So awaiting shipment, seller shipping, economy shipping for $14.01 total. Now I don't know if you just caught that, but the order that came in isn't any of the two items that I showed you earlier. It's actually one of these. This is a legitimately indestructible ball. This ball is seven years old and that's how I marketed it. So in this video, I'm actually talking about how my dog destroys absolutely every single toy he comes in contact with within a day. And then I mentioned the ball. I mentioned how this ball is actually seven years old and I've had it ever since I've had my dog. A lot of people can relate to this because a lot of people have extremely heavy chewers for dogs, meaning they have dogs that, again, break everything. So being able to show this ball and being able to show them that it's lasted me this long, that right there is social proof. It's showing a wow factor and it's providing value to somebody. So this right here shows you that you shouldn't stop importing products. If you think you found a winner, keep looking for more winners. No matter how much faith you have in a particular product, it's never guaranteed to sell. So because of that, you need to have more and more options. You need to start making more and more videos. You need to start looking for more and more products to promote. And that's also why the pricing was a bit different than the pricing that I said earlier, because it's a totally different item. So after this, we're pretty much done. The only thing that we need to do now is focus on creating more and more content to keep promoting our products. Remember, I cannot stress this enough. Whenever you make your videos, always make sure you tag the appropriate products. Do not tag a random product that has nothing to do with the video or that is not shown in the video because TikTok will take that product down and you will be assigned violation points. And you do not want to do that. As you can see, it's super easy to get started. It's extremely easy to market and you don't want TikTok to start giving you any violation points. That can be very detrimental to your store. Now, how are we going to start marketing our store more efficiently? Well, there's a few different ways to do this. And to be completely honest with you, the best possible way you could do this is to do it yourself. The same way that I started right now and I got my first order, start by making these videos yourself. Order the product to your house, start making a few videos and try to bring up some hype around your channel. Try to make some trending videos. Even if you're not offering a product, you still want to keep making content. And that's one thing that I do suggest that you do. Don't include a product in every single video that you post. Post some organic content, some that aren't trying to sell, but instead trying to build an audience, build an audience that's relevant to your niche. But aside from that, you also have a few other ways to market your products. For one, you have influencer marketing. Now, influencer marketing is pretty easy. All you have to do is simply sign up for the TikTok affiliate program. You can start to contact a bunch of different influencers and see which ones are best fit for your products and which ones can potentially help you grow and get more sales. TikTok takes care of the entire thing when it comes to managing them as well as paying them. And the last option that you have for your marketing is paid ads through TikTok. Now, you always have this option. It's always open to you. But me personally, I don't think it's worth it. Organic growth on TikTok is the way to go. And that's what I'm going to stick to. Maybe eventually I'll dip my feet into the influencer side of things. But honestly, for the most part, I'm just going to be sticking to organic marketing. It's practically free. All you have to do is simply pay for the product. It's more natural. People relate more to it. Ultimately, overall, it's it's more fun. OK, so the next thing we need to focus on is scaling now. So we know how to market our products. That's actually going to help us scale. But what's another way that we can start scaling? Simply, we can start a few different stores. Since we already have automation on our side, we can focus on coming up with new niches or new products for new stores. Aside from that, we also have the option to just simply add more products to our current store. Adding more products, adding more videos, that's all going to help us scale get more recognition, build up a bigger fan base on TikTok, and ultimately get more orders. Now, if you do want to open up multiple shops on TikTok, that's something that you're going to be able to do, but you run the risk of getting banned at least for the first few weeks. Now, this can be remedied simply by submitting an appeal and reaching out to TikTok, but for one, that can take quite a while. And two, it's not always guaranteed that they'll reinstate your other accounts. So if that's something you're willing to try and if it works out great and if it doesn't, well, at least you tried. But my suggestion would be to just focus on that one store and just keep building it. Keep building, keep adding tons of products to it. Keep coming out with more content because if you start getting traction through one, you might as well just keep building it to keep getting more and more. And that is absolutely everything that you need to know 
about getting started dropshipping on TikTok shop the efficient way. The TikTok shop app on Shopify does not work. So make sure you go with Aftership. Aftership is the app that you need to use. That is so far the best app that we've come across that can actually connect everything together and make dropshipping actually work with TikTok shop. So hopefully you enjoyed this video. If you did, please make sure you smash that like button. It took a long time to make this video and a lot of work. So hopefully you found it informative. Hopefully it helped you out and hopefully it actually gets you started drop shipping on TikTok. Now, if that is the case, again, smash that like button, go ahead and hit that subscribe button so you don't miss out on any future videos and ring that little bell notification. So the moment we release a video, you get notified. Huge thank you to everyone for watching, especially if you made it all the way to the end. My name is Mario with AutoDS and I'll catch you all next time.